It is 3 p.m. on Saturday. It's been two whole weeks since my last YouTube video, and my goal for the last seven days was to put together a new video for you guys to post tomorrow, Sunday, so that I could try to be more consistent. I spent the last two weeks like in Montana hiking, backpacking. I'm back in Washington now. There was like a massive heat wave, and it's still really hot out, actually. <laughs> but of course, I decided right now when I have like nine hours to actually work on the video, that it's a great time to tear apart my van and clean it from top to bottom. So yeah, uh, welcome to my life. Here we go, actual footage of my van right now. 20 minutes ago, I was sitting at my computer working and then I just got bored, I guess. And now here we are, <laughs> such a mess. Here's another angle for anyone out there that thinks my van always looks clean, truthfully, it normally does, but sometimes I just go on cleaning rampages and it turns into a complete disaster. <laughs> And just like that, two more weeks have gone by and it's now been a whole month since my last post. I have four weeks of footage to sift through and it makes me wonder, like, where does all the time go? Since I've been out on the road, I've struggled to get back into the swing of things. Between work and the road and hiking and making time for family and friends and catching up on errands and deadlines and the usual van chores, the days just kind of disappear. But whenever I sit down to patch it all together and attempt to create a video, I'm reminded of all the memories made and all the roads traveled. So even though I'm clearly really bad at consistently documenting and sharing life as it happens, I'll keep trying because a lot of these places are just too beautiful not to share. plan was Montana for at least a few more weeks. Every summer I beeline for the Washington Cascades, and this year I wanted to spend more time in Idaho and Montana before heading west. Going to the Sun Road was finally open, and the weather was pretty perfect. Nate and I met up with some friends from Washington, and we all spent a few days hanging out and hiking around the park. <laughs> oh, that's great. They were, they were just kind of a... Uh... They were odd. There's a, there's a Huckleberry Alaska, Cafe right outside of the area. I think it's like the it's last town before they you know that. <laughs> I don't even know what we were doing before. For Lake and Bakery is pretty amazing. <laughs> Catching up with friends, I realized that I hadn't actually been back to Washington since September of last year, or nine months ago, which is crazy to think about when you call a place home and end up leaving unintentionally for so long. In some ways, life moves fast on the road, but day to day, it feels slow. If you asked me where I was and who I was with one week ago, I would literally have to check my calendar. But if you asked me when I was last home, I would wanna say just a few months ago. Time is funny like that. It just kind of fades when you're on the road. Family dinner. Camping in the rain. Rain time. This is 
what it's all about. <laughs> Rain or shine, family <laughs> meal. This dinner is delicious. <laughs> yeah. This is really amazing. Actually. Yeah. So our friends just left, but we're booking another night at the campsite to just relax. And Nate just made breakfast. After some time on the east side, Nate and I drove to Whitefish, Montana to meet up with our friends Alex and Eric for a multi-night trek in Glacier Backcountry. This was my first overnight of the season and my first tent camping experience in Grizzly Country. So here is what packing for a backpacking trip in the van looks like. It's thunderstorming outside, so I have the bike inside. All my stuff is just strewn everywhere. I'm just hoping I don't forget anything important, so it's kind of like a storage unit in here right now. It's about 3 p.m. So we're making good time. And yeah, today's a 14 mile day. We have a bear paw was in the corner, like if it was like an like because I don't know what an encompassing thing would be. It's pretty big. So like. Yeah. Hey bear. Hey bear. <laughs> oh, little bear. <laughs> we just saw our first black bear run up through there. Mile 11. Oh, how far? Are we? <laughs> Probably ish. So we are hanging our bear bags because we're in grizzly country and we can't take any of our food or toiletries near the campsite. Ooh, that sounds freaking roasting. We're improvising here because the string was stretched out. There we go. Nice. You got knives. Oh, you sleep that way. Oh, this is like a square. You're gonna be climbing all over. Pretty nice campsite. There's only three campsites in this whole place. Um, there are these little tiny winged uh, blood sucking birds called mosquitoes. <laughs> and um, yeah, this helps a little bit. I have one too. Alex is unbothered by bugs. <laughs> you don't have one either. You're just toughing it out, I guess, huh? Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I'm still being eaten alive. <laughs> We are cooking up dinner. Lighten up the jet boil. And we're gonna have a community dinner in this little eating space. 
we have to eat in this specific spot <laughs> because of grizzly bears. So we can't eat anything near the campsite. We have to eat it all here. Gourmet mac and cheese. Sounds great. Here we have the camp bathroom, this cute little outhouse in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Packed up, heading down to the lake. You uh, got our stretches in. Uh, okay, we'll you guys. <laughs> We are setting up camp. Setting up camp. Check out this little path that goes down to the water. And here's the toilet for this campsite. Another outhouse in the most scenic place. We're making dinner before sunset. I'm heading back to camp to grab this water bottle which is collapsible when it's empty but has a filter at the top so you can just fill it up in the lake and then drink it right out of the bottle or squeeze it into an algae. <laughs> we are at beep. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We're in a tent. This is our last night out here, and it's still bright outside, but it's like 10 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> Probably 
busting out the medical supplies. Do you have like a... I got blisters. Uh, what's it called? Woohoo! We're <laughs> pumped up. See you guys. So it's 8.30 in the morning. We woke up at 5 to shoot sunrise. Then we made breakfast and coffee and say goodbye to everyone else at camp. Now we're heading out at 8.30. We have a nine mile day and it's supposed to be pretty hot. So it's gonna be a workout. This is bear grass. Mmm, yes, please. Mm, it's like rainbow. Yeah. This is the last quarter of a mile, and we are so spent. It's just really hot outside. We've been hiking uphill. All right, we made it back. How are we feeling? First order of business is removing these boots.